Hello and welcome to a special episode of No Rose Althorn. My name is Amelia Wedemeyer and today we are going to talk a little bit about our new bachelorette. Okay, so who is Katie Thurston? Well, she was kind of like the moral compass on Matt's season. She's 30, she's from Renton, Washington. She has aspirations of becoming a talk show host, according to her ABC.com profile, which I think could work out well for her because she has a semi-large following on TikTok and she posts videos that are very goofy. She has videos talking about pooping herself, masturbation, having sex with ghosts, We've never had a bachelorette so candid and silly as Katie. And I think that's honestly a plus because after the season that we've had, I think Bachelor Nation deserves to have some fun, to have a little levity. Okay, so going back to her role as dildo girl on night one, do you remember that? She showed up out of the limo with a giant purple vibrator and she was like, hopefully you can replace this, Matt. It's funny to me because I think if you've watched this show long enough, you know there are people who come out of the limo with these over the top gimmicks and they usually don't last very long or that's kind of their thing. And then they get boxed in and we wait until we see them on paradise again. But with Katie, it's funny funny because she, you know, started off as, you know, the dildo girl, but she really evolved into her own person. She, again, was kind of the moral compass of this show. She was repeatedly standing up for other women when they were getting bullied or harassed. And that first started out with Sarah. There was a little altercation between Katie and Sarah. And then the next day, Katie talked to Sarah and kind of cleared the air. They apologized to each other. And Katie went downstairs and was like, okay, We have to be better people, which kind of rubs some people the wrong way. But I think all in all, that was really good that she stood up for Sarah because they were treating Sarah pretty poorly. And then when the new girls arrived and everyone immediately was just like, we got to ice them out because they're new. Katie was truly the only person to stand up and be like, we need to stop doing this. And when the whole rumor about Britney started, it was Katie who once again kind of took it upon herself to tell Matt about what happened. And he obviously addressed the whole situation. So I think at the expense of her relationship with Matt, she really wanted to create a friendlier, more compassionate environment. And honestly, thank God she was there or else the house would have descended into chaos, even though it kind of already did descend into chaos, but she quelled it for the time being. And then if you remember her exit, Matt, he said, you know, you're like a friend. And unfortunately, if it's The Bachelor, you don't want to be put with that label. You don't want to be the friend. So, you know, Katie was obviously upset and sad, but again, Katie, this worked in your favor. You didn't get mad, but who cares? You're the bachelorette now, so congratulations, honestly. So all in all, I think there's a lot to be excited about for Katie as the bachelorette. She is not afraid to stand up for herself. Another thing is, I don't think we've ever had a sex positive bachelorette as Katie. I would say like Anna Brown was put into that situation and Caitlyn was also put into that situation. But Katie seems kind of just really upfront about it. And I think that's great because it's like, hello, this show is about finding your partner. Why wouldn't it be about sex? However, I will say it is worth mentioning that Katie did not make it to the top three or four. Usually they try to pick from around that range. And she's also not a woman of color, which obviously given the show's recent history would have been really nice to see. But that being said, Michelle Young was also named The Bachelorette, which is just, I'm so excited because she seems like such a wonderful human being as does Katie. So I am so excited to see what the future holds for both of them. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you subscribe to The Ringer on YouTube for more Bachelor content in the future.